OMB Warehouse presents the Gray Goat Garage. Hello and welcome back to OMB Warehouse, home of the Gray Goat Garage. Today we're going to take this Hemi Predator engine and I'm going to show you how to adjust the valves on this. A uh, very common issue with most customers is they'll buy a new camshaft and they'll put it into the engine. They will not readjust their lash. Then they're going to say, hmm, it won't pull. It, uh, I broke my rope. Um, there, there's a reason behind that. Most cam grinders take a stock base circle cam and they'll regrind it. You'll notice if you regrind the base circle itself, it makes it smaller, but it also increases the lift at, at the top of the lobe. So most cams aftermarket that have uh, additional lift or duration will have a reduced base circle. And when your tappet sits right here, it's going to adjust that gap between your push rod and your rocker arm. So let's get this started. The biggest issue when you're adjusting your valves is this little thing here called the decompressor. Once your engine starts, centrifugal force moves this little arm out of the way and it doesn't burp open your exhaust valve. That makes it easier to start. Um, if uh, you set your, your lash and the lifters on this little tang here, you're going to get an incorrect uh, lash setting. Um, that's the biggest cause of not being able to pull over your engine is the lash on the exhaust valve. When I adjust the valves on one of these engines, first thing I'm going to do is take the recoil cover off. I know, I know, you guys are saying, hey, why is that fat guy taking the recoil cover off? Well, I'll show you here. In the so I took my 8 millimeter socket and took the recoil cover off. Now I'm going to take a 3 quarter inch socket and get this spark plug out. It was already loose. I didn't even need that. So now I'm going to take my plug out as well. The only reason that I take the plug and the recoil off is so I can go like this. It's always good to rotate this engine through to make sure that uh, we're, we're on the right stroke. And uh, we can turn the crank in smaller amounts. When the spark plugs in, there's some compression. Won't always let you turn it. Sometimes it's going to want to push back. So let's take our eight millimeter wrench, get our valve cover off as well. And we're not going to reuse this gasket, right? Gaskets are very important. Once this is compressed, it's compressed for good. And, and you should always use a new gasket. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm very big on using new gaskets. It's $2 well spent. So here we have the, the Hemi head with the rocker arms right here. What you're going to need for the rocker arms is a 9mm wrench and a .003, that's three thousandths of an inch, feeler gauge. Um, for the adjuster itself, you can use a little crescent wrench on the, the square knob on top. I've got this fancy little special wrench that's going to fit on here. Before we get started on that though, we need to find top dead center in this engine. On a four stroke engine, there's, there's two revolutions for one power stroke. So one is the exhaust um, stroke and the other one's the intake stroke or the compression stroke. So you can tell by putting your finger over the hole. See right now the, the plug is sucking my finger in. So I want to turn it until the force inside the engine pushes my finger off. Okay, here we go. We're coming up on the compression stroke. And you can see when the piston gets to the top. Sometimes I'll take a flashlight and look down in there and just make sure that my piston is at the top of the stroke. Because of the decompressor on the cam, this cam is right about here right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate the engine a little bit clockwise 
and that will, because this cam rotates this way and the crank rotates forward, I'm just going to go ahead just a few degrees, just so I make sure that that tappet is off the uh, decompressor on the cam. So now I can take my nine millimeter wrench and loosen up this adjuster. I'm gonna take my feeler gauge and I'm gonna put the feeler gauge right down between the, there's a lash cap on these. So between the lash cap and this little square headed adjuster. At that point, I can take and hold the top of this and snug this down. The Hemi is a lot easier than the non-Hemi engine. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna verify that this has a little bit of tension going through. And there is some tension in there. I can move the feeler gauge in and out. So the valve lash on the exhaust valve is set. We're gonna go ahead and go back and take care of the intake now. Which looks really loose at this point. Um, these engines come from the factory a little bit loose. Okay, now I got just a little bit of tension on it. I might back off that a little bit just so when I tighten this down. It's going to get a little bit tighter when you tighten it down anyway. Then I'm going to come back and readjust it. Or check it, I mean. So I still have a, just a little bit of tension coming through here. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to spin my engine again. I'm going to go two full rotations, thumb over the hole. There you go. And get my piston back up the top dead center and rotate just a little bit forward. I always like to double check these. Um, the, the Hemis are definitely easier than the non-Hemis. Okay, I'm good on the exhaust. And I'm good on the intake. So that's all there is to adjusting of val the valves. When you buy an aftermarket camshaft, you're gonna get a yellow card with it. If it's a dyno cam, it's gonna tell you what the lash setting should be. That setting is a cold setting. Typically it's 0 .003 or three thousandths of an inch. Um, when you put a new cam in your engine, always adjust your valves. When you adjust your valves, use a new valve cover gasket. And uh, so, we're, we're all done here. Essentially all we have to do is put the spark plug back in, the recoil on, and the valve cover on with a, a new gasket, and we're ready to roll. This will make your engine run well and save you from uh, breaking those recoil ropes. Thank you for stopping by OMB Warehouse, home of the Grey Goat Garage. Thank you. The Grey Goat Garage is powered by OMB Warehouse. Check us out at ombwarehouse.com.